Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk Covent Garden. Welcome to Walk Wednesday. This week we are teaming up with our great friends Neff for a vegan soba noodle soup. So I'm going to start with a stock. It's really, really simple. I've got some ginger, garlic and spring onion, which I'm going to start to fry off first. Next up, I've got about a tablespoon of miso, that white miso, some mirin, some sake, and then your vegetable stock. So my soup's on the boil. Got my extractor on. But hopefully you guys can still hear me. Just let that simmer away, so it's on a medium heat. And then I'm going to marinate my tofu. So I've got firm tofu here. I'm going to marinate that with the rest of the miso, a little bit of sugar, some light soy sauce and some midden. I'm just going to make the marinade and mix it together in a separate bowl so I can melt that miso into the rest of the sauces. Light soy. Quite salty light soy, so we're going to balance that out with some sugar and midden. About a teaspoon of midden. Just press into the miso paste so it sort of mixes in well with the light soy and the rest of the mix. It's a really, really simple recipe. The stock's on, that's where most of the flavour is going to be. I'm going to pour that over the tofu and then just Lightly run your spoon underneath the tofu so it doesn't break up too much. Make sure each piece is well marinated. I'm going to sear that in a frying pan. You can use a wok or a frying pan. Non-stick frying pan works quite nicely. I'm going to sear some mushrooms first though. I've got shiitake mushrooms, fresh shiitake mushrooms here, which are going to go on a really high heat in the frying pan. A good drizzle of oil. The thing with mushrooms, especially fresh mushrooms, you want to keep all the moisture inside. So giving it a really good sear on a high heat helps to do that. Make sure your pan's really smoking hot before you put your mushrooms in. A few mushrooms in, don't overload the pan. And press into them and then give them a quick flick through and press in again. If you do need a little bit of liquid, you can just use a bit of the soup to cook it through a bit quicker. But as I said, you do want that initial sear first. It's like a squeaky sound there. You either love that or hate that. The shiitake mushroom is great because they've got that meaty flavour and texture to them. Especially as we're keeping this dish fully vegan. It's nice to have a balance of flavour, texture and colour. So with that stock boiling away there, it's a very good vehicle for adding a bit of flavour. But even just a splash of stock will A, cook those through quicker, but punch that flavour into the mushrooms. Keep it on the hob so it sort of soaks in all that moisture and then continue to sear that for another minute or so. So my mushrooms have got a nice sort of char on the edge of each piece. So they're ready for later. Now you could just put that into your stock, but I quite like that extra flavour. The rest of the oil we we'll use for the tofu again. I want to get a good bit of colour around the tofu and that sugar to sort of caramelise around the pieces. A lot of people don't know how to cook tofu that well and the idea of it is that really it's not got a huge amount of flavour and it can be seen as quite bland but what it does do is it soaks in flavour very well. So when I'm searing it I sear it with that flavour or that marinade round there. And again, I've got a bit of sauce in there. If you wanted to add a bit more sauce to it, you could. But I won't add that extra sauce or any stock to it until it's seared, because then it will just soak in the rest of that flavour. Then turn it whilst it's still nice and hot. Just get underneath, turn those pieces of tofu. It starts to caramelise quite quickly, as you can see. And much like the mushrooms, I want a good bit of caramelisation from the sugar and the soy and the midden, that marinade that's wrapped around the tofu. 
It's almost like a charred tofu vegan ramen that I'm going for. Not burnt, just charred. Once you've got a nice colour around most of the edges of tofu, then any extra sauce, whilst it's on a high heat, can go in and it'll just sort of pack into the tofu again. Great sound. And again, we've got that stock, so why not add even more flavour to the tofu? Whoa, look at that. So mushrooms are done. My tofu is ready. And the rest is as easy as one, two, three. I'm gonna bring my stock over. I'm just gonna prepare some veg here. Some pak choy. You can use whatever vegetables you want, you know. With the pak choy, I'm just gonna cut into nice lengths. A little bit of Swiss chard just because we've got it. Got some sliced carrot here. I'll cook that first because that takes a few more minutes than your sort of softer vegetables. Uh, and to go with the carrot, I've also got some watermelon, radish. Turnip works well too. Even if you want sort of bright color, like a bit of beetroot or things like that, that works well. Look at the colour on that, absolutely beautiful. I'm actually not going to peel it, I've washed this. I'm just going to go for nice, thin slices so it cooks quickly. I'm not going to peel it because I quite like the look of the sort of outside colour and contrast to the inside. I'm just doing enough for one dish, but of course if you're doing it for your whole family or a few friends, then just do the whole thing. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is gonna heat through my soba noodles, put them back into the bowl and then start to compile the bowl from there. Now these have been soaked in hot water for about five minutes. All it takes is sort of dunking into the stock for about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute will do, and then straight back into the bowl and they'll be cooked through, won't have that sort of raw, slightly chalky texture. So onto medium heat with your stock, once that's on a rolling boil, then your noodles can go straight in. Just separate them out a little bit. You could sieve your stock if you wanted to, but you know, I'm cooking at home, so I'm quite happy to keep it easy and simple. My noodles nice and separate now. If you do want to, if you do want to make them a little bit more beautiful then just twist them around your chopsticks. I quite like that sort of spring onion that's been cooked in the stock just intertwining through the noodles too. Now we're going for your harder vegetables so your watermelon, radish, and your carrots. Bring that to a boil, give them a good sort of two to three minutes to cook up. Whilst that's cooking you can compile your seared tofu and mushrooms, love that colour. Shiitake. Let's go generous with the shiitake. And then we'll just place different coloured veg all the way around, stock on top, simple as that. Two, three minutes and your harder veg are done. Quite nice to sort of lay that out, show off the natural colour. And then last bits of veg that go in, which really only need about a minute because I want to keep them nice and crunchy. Your pak choy and then your Swiss chard, which can go in for the last 30 seconds because it's so soft. Don't let your veg overcook. Lay these pak choy down and then your veg. Ooh, look at that. I've got some black sesame seeds to garnish over the top of that. really brings out that watermelon, radish, spring onion. My vegan soba noodle soup. I'm gonna have a little taster. Mm. 
The soup is so flavorful and the tofu is really soaked in all of that soy and even if it's only a teaspoon of miso, it's got a great salty flavor to it. You know, I'm a meat eater myself, but what I always find when I'm cooking vegetarian food or vegan food, it doesn't, it's got to have that punch of flavor so it doesn't you miss the meat at all. And this definitely has that. If you want to learn how to make perfect Asian food at home, don't forget guys to subscribe to our channel and like, like, like. And a big thanks to Neff for providing all the equipment and letting us do these videos.